first of all, I want to say when I smoke weed, when I get stoned, I, I realize amazing things about the way we work. Why do people have issue with marijuana? The, the, is it because people tell you it's illegal? Think about it. I know it slows people down, but is that a bad thing for society, particularly a fast-paced work, work, work society that's driving people to obesity and suicide? I, I, I don't know why you would make ingesting a substance illegal. Let people take and eat and do what they want to their bodies. Now, moving on from that, the thought that I had is that when you attack someone's ego publicly, the masses all focus on you heavily for a short period of time. They'll, they all want to know more about you. They're all really drawn to you after you've attacked someone else's ego in front of them. I noticed that after I made that video criticizing the Dax Flame Lisa Nova interview and talked about Terry and Kevin and their egos, their, their particular egos to their bodies, and people were very, very drawn to it. And then in the, the week following, people made large amounts of video responses, like lots, like 20, 30, 40, 50. And now I'm noticing a week and a half later, it's, it's kind of, I haven't really, I don't know, I haven't been attacking other people's egos and people have kind of subsided again and are just listening. Or maybe it's that they speak up at me because they don't want it to be happening. They listen quietly if I'm not attacking someone's ego, but then as soon as I do, the crowd will start speaking. And, but it doesn't come out as hostility, it just comes out as them speaking, like saying what they think. But maybe it's subconsciously because they see me overextending myself and, and taking on other people's ego, and it's kind of a dangerous thing to do. And they want it, they just balance it out naturally by speaking back and then me listening to them and my ego fades. And I realized that after I'd smoked weed, and that's a very interesting thing about the way people work, because I see it macrocosmically, macroscopically with YouTube. I see this large amount of people rather than, you, I mean, what, in a crowd, what's the most amount of people you could be around like in a fight? If you really strip someone's ego and you beat the hell out of somebody, you maybe 30 people, I guess you could televise it. That's kind of what athletics are, sports. But in, re in, in a regular life without the video technology, 50,000 in an arena. But a normal guy on the street, 10 or 20. But you see like, of course, you do see it with sports. I'm just, I haven't noticed that. I haven't been a professional athlete that also had an opportunity to think about being a professional athlete. I'm just a dude that sits around and thinks. So it comes to me. And I see the ego on a large scale being reflected. And when large amounts of people speak up, it's very interesting as to why. And the reason is because I was taking what maybe what wasn't mine to be taken. Or maybe it was just, maybe it's just part of the balance of the way we work. And to be aware of when you're drawing ego and when other people are speaking up is very important because then you can learn about yourself and learn to temper yourself and that's how we'll make the change. That's just what's changing. We're learning to temper ourselves, civilization.